Hi Carol, welcome to 1814 Sparkling Waters. I am here giving you your tour. So I just wanted to start right here at the front door. Um, what's really nice about this particular unit is that it's an end unit and it has its own side private entrance. Um, so there is a little fence there um, and it's private to yours. So when somebody comes up your driveway, I usually say, take the path to the right and and then you have your own door nicely landscaped obviously right now it's covered in snow so when you're standing at the front you do have a beautiful foyer it is two-story there's a really pretty light fixture and then to the right is your great room and to the left is your kitchen so we're going to start over here to the right you're going to see that there is a gas fireplace with a ceramic tile surround and a really nice mantle and it is just switches to the wall so super easy to use let me shut it right off it is a lennox and it's heated so actually we've only had it on for like i don't know maybe 10 minutes and it's really pumping the heat out right now so it does get really nice and warm now there is electrical for tv on the back of uh, the mantle so you can actually hang a TV here and then there's speakers on the walls um, on the other side so for surround sound in this room so we also have a 15 foot ceiling and it's a tray ceiling and there's up lighting in there and a beautiful fixture in the middle now this particular unit is um, has a walk out and it looks right out to, there's actually a waterfall out here and a water feature. It's beautiful. And what's really nice is in the spring summer when all the trees fill in, you actually aren't going to see any of the condos on the other side of the little pond there. Uh, but it is really beautiful. It's bubbling and residents compliment how, um, how peaceful it sounds. Um, and they love to sit out here. And what's nice about this little patio is that it also opens up to your um, primary bedroom, your master suite through a door on the side and, and we'll walk over there in a little bit. So let's head straight through to the kitchen and dining room. So we have these super tall ceilings and they're just beautiful. So here's our formal dining room. So we have Brazilian cherry hardwood floors in here. Um, this was a custom built home, but also the current owner had it uh, professionally interior decorated as well with obviously custom window treatments. If you're interested in buying the furniture, let me know. I'm fairly certain that it's all for sale. Uh, so there are window treatments on all of the windows and the windows are in good shape. This flows right into your kitchen. We have beautiful custom white cabinets with granite countertops. Now these are, I, they're really nice looking cabinets, but they're, I would say they're pretty standard builder grade. So there really isn't anything special about them. They're not slow clothes, but they're really nice. They're in good clean condition. They look good. Um, and then you've got a cooktop, an electric cooktop uh, with a vent that vents out. So this could easily get converted to a gas. So if you like a gas cooktop, it's about $350 and, uh, for DTE to come and convert that to gas. And then obviously, you know, the cost of your cooktop. There is um, a single oven and a microwave. So these are the GE Profile Series. And this is that, uh, that gray material. So it's like a gunmetal gray. They're really nice. So these are, I can tell these are newer appliances considering the age of the unit. So the unit is a 2003 unit. So it's a little bit older, but you can tell they've done some refurbishments. So refrigerator, and then there's a large pantry over here. So big walk-in pantry, which is really nice. And actually there's your attic access up there. Um, and then on this side of the island, you have a trash compactor and a dishwasher, as well as a really nice large farm sink. So it is a heated kitchen, so you have room for another table and chairs. Um, oftentimes we'll see this as just a sitting area. So sometimes we'll see like a couple of rockers and a side chair in here. So not everybody uses this space as um, an eating kitchen. So your laundry is also right here on the main floor. So there is a washer and a dryer and then there is a utility sink in the corner plus some additional cabinets and a nice place to hang. And then your garage is right here. So this is a two car garage. It's a little bit 
filled with clutter, but um, it does. It is a standard two car garage. There's electricity and water. They generally stay pretty warm out there um, because they're pretty well insulated units. And then on this side is a coat closet. So coat closet, um, we've got eight foot doors here on the main floor as well. So we've got some extra space here. And then the Brazilian cherry floors follow all the way through the dining, all the way through the kitchen, and then all the way into the study. So the study is around the corner. Now there's this cute little indoor outdoor space. What's really nice about this is that it's, um, it actually gives light to, to a couple extra rooms. So it gives extra light to your master bedroom and then gives some extra light to your study, which is also considered a legal bedroom. And there's electricity and water out in this space and you can actually um, plant flowers or sit out there. Um, I've seen some people put some nice seats out there, use it as a smoking lounge. I've, I've heard of that as well, a cigar lounge, um, but a nice useful space if you need it. So here is that extra bedroom. So when these were sold as condos, you had the choice to um, add the bathroom or not add the bathroom. So if some units just have bookshelves in this corner. Um, I think it's a huge benefit to have a second bedroom on the main floor. So you've got a large closet and then you have a full bathroom with a shower. It's got ceramic tile floors. It has uh, granite countertops, cherry cabinets, And then it overlooks um, the front of the unit. So it does have a vent, does have a window, which is also really nice as well. So we're actually gonna head up to the second floor. So the second floor is where your third bedroom would be. So the second floor is, go ahead and go up first. So on the second floor, we're gonna find a loft that opens to the foyer. So you kind of got this look over to the foyer. So it's a loft. Sometimes people will use this loft space as an office. Um, most of the time we're gonna see like a couch and a chair up here. Really nice little private space. So in this bathroom, we have a shower, and then there's some white cabinets in here. Now this one hasn't been updated like the other bathrooms have. Still has Hermica countertops, ceramic top floors. And then you walk through this hallway to your ensuite bedroom, which has got two closets on both sides. And then um, a large size bedroom. And then we go right through the door, back into the loft, and right back down the stairs. So everything's in really nice shape. The paint's in good shape. It's some darker colors. Um, it's a really big space. So the square footage above ground is 2,807. And then below ground is 1,600. So we're gonna walk around the corner. And there is the main floor powder room. So there's the powder room with under cabinet lighting. Cherry cabinets, really pretty sconces. And then on this side, this is actually where your coat closet is. So we're right out of the front entrance. So the, the foyer is right here. Your coat closet's right over here. And then your master bedroom is through these French doors. To the right, you have a butler's pantry. And then you have two closets. Hers and hers, of course. <laughs> so there's one that's a little bit smaller. And then the larger one actually has built-in cabinets. And then a really pretty uh, large primary bedroom with a tray ceiling and there's up lighting in the tray. There's also speakers throughout this home. So there is surround sound throughout this home as well as an alarm system. And then here is that side door that goes right out to your balcony. And then there's beautiful views from these windows. So it's actually some of the best views are right here in the primary bedroom. So you wake up in the morning and you're gonna hear the waterfall. 
Um, and there's actually a walking trail right out there as well. You can see some, some people have walked through there. The walking trail is only maintained in the um, fall, spring, and summer months. And then that, that uh, little pond goes, flows right into the main body of Hidden Lake. Okay. And then let's check out the primary bathroom. So really large primary bathroom. And then it features two large vanities, a jetted tub, a Euro shower, so a large shower. And then of course there's a little pantry over here too. So really good size bathroom. One of the complaints that I've heard is just that the cabinets are a little low, which I think is pretty standard for a 2030. So upon doing a remodel, you probably bring the cabinets up a little bit. So let's check out the lower level. So you're gonna find the lower level to your right. And there's a ton of actual uh, extra space for storage. And actually at the bottom of the stairs, the storage is on the right-hand side. So we're gonna pop into the right side. And when you turn to the right, you're gonna find two furnaces. So there are two furnaces and a water heater. So one water heater for the whole house two furnaces. So this is the main furnace. The main furnace handles both of the upstairs, so the main floor and the second floor. And then the second furnace is a smaller furnace, and that is just the lower level. Now there's only one air conditioner. The air conditioner is um, attached to this furnace, so it only handles the upstairs. Uh, the lower level stays pretty cool. Um, in these units, I've not had anybody add an extra air conditioner, so it seems like they all do stay pretty cool down here. And then there is a water softener. So it is a color again water softener. It is owned by uh, the current owner. Um, the water softeners, they, it is hard water. We're on a community well. Um, it is treated water, but it's still hard. So we do recommend getting a water softener. Most people have a water softener. And then uh, the requirement is that you use potassium chloride uh, for the water. Um, however, that is actually nice. It's not fitting, there we go. Um, potassium chloride is really nice. It is a more expensive bag. It's about $18 a bag at Costco. However, it does make your skin feel a whole lot nicer. And then extra storage over here to your right, there is a sump pump um, to the back. So the sump pump does have uh, a backup alarm on it. So tons of storage. So all of this is built in. So all of this extra storage space is gonna stay. And like I mentioned, there's that sump pump in the corner. Um, and then they nicely built this uh, shelving area above, so just in case there is a sump pump back up, um, things will stay dry. But it usually is a pretty dry space. Um, we, are, we have a pretty good water level here, especially since we have the lake. Um, water usually flows right down and out to the lake. So this room to your right has been used as a bedroom, could be a workout room, could be a theater room. Um, but we do call it a non-conforming bedroom because it does not have a window. It does have a large uh, closet, so extra storage space. So um, a nice Berber carpet down here. It's, it's newer. I wouldn't say it was new, but it's definitely newer. I don't think it's original carpet. So there is a built-in TV over here. All of the light fixtures have been replaced down here. You can kind of see one of the things that are original. So original doorknobs, those are gold. This right here is under the stairs. Um, the original owner used it as a wine cellar. So there is a temperature controlled box over there. Current owner hasn't used it as a wine cellar. In fact, I don't even know if that works, uh, but that's what that was for. Also makes a really nice closet. So main body of the lower level. We've got a gas fireplace with um, a granite surround and a mantle, beautiful built-in bookcases, and then there's this metal that's trimmed around the top that looks really sharp. 
It walks out. So this is actually a walkout. It walks right out to the lake and there's something locked in it. So we're not gonna open it. We're not opening it today. <laughs> so there is a little patio out there. The walking trail is right out there as well. So you're gonna have neighbors that are gonna come by and they're uh, just walking on the trail. Um, a really friendly neighborhood, so uh, doesn't really bother too many people. And then the gaming room, which also makes a nice living room. So there's that surround sound, so you'll see some speakers throughout. Really beautiful um, pool table that I believe is for sale. Um, along with the lighting fixtures, there's a TV hanging on the wall, so it's a really nice room here. And then the bar is a granite topped bar. So you've got a high bar and a low bar with a dishwasher. You have a bar fridge, a microwave, and you have a full refrigerator too. So you have a bar fridge um, and a full fridge here. And then around the corner is the bathroom. So there is a full bathroom over here. So a bathroom with a shower. And then there is for mica on the countertops. And then that is, um, that's actually paint. So it is a sponge paint on the wall. And then there is actually a, um, uh, there's a wallpaper border on top as well. And then a coat closet here. All right, I think that is everything. Um, if you can think of anything else, let me know. Um, I have the measurements for you on the property um, and I should be able to answer, answer any other questions or be able to find the answer to them as well. I can also send you the HOA bylaws for um, this property as well. All right, Carol, thanks for joining me on the tour today. Give me a call if you have any questions. It's 734-657-7715. Have a great day.